Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this really bad photograph or a image and asked how to draw it. And like in a few minutes, I drew this. I mean, it's not, I didn't spend a lot of time. It could be a lot better, but I thought I'd give the person the idea on how to do it. So you kind of want your nudge factor set on something pretty close to get it off the screen. And we're just going to, Basically, you only have to draw two of these, the center one and the out, one of the outside ones, and I'll just show you. I like using the three-point curve, and this is why. Because on some like this, go to about right there and do there, go to there. Whoop, I went too far. Let's back up, connect to there, and just give it a little bit of curve. Connect back to your dot, and then make this curve. Now we're going to take a line and go right through the middle. Give it a little bit of a curve. There's a lot we could do with this. And one thing you could do, let's zoom in here a little bit. How I would do it is to grab that node, hold down the shift key and grab that node. Whoop and grab this, this node and add nodes. Well, I'm adding them to the wrong line. Let's just, let's just add nodes manually. That could be done, but we just need to add some nodes. And I'm just double clicking on the line. And we're just adding a few nodes. Doesn't really matter. Let me space them out a little bit. And then just start moving lines around. We're going to move that to there, add another node, and come up to here. Move that line over, add another node. And there's several ways that you could do this. And as you can see, I'm not taking a lot of time. I'm just adding nodes so I get a kind of the shape of that. And like I was saying, if I would, uh, one, you don't have to be exactly like the other drawing. It'll be your drawing. And that looks good enough for the video. Now I'm going to select them all. I'm going to nudge them over. Well, I left out one line. Let's put it back. And we need an outline, so I'm going to take the three-point curve. And like I said, if I was trying to do this for the video or for myself, I take a little bit more time. Now we can select it all and nudge it over. I'm going to take away that one line so my smart fill will leak through there. And I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill it in. There is the center leaf. Now we just need one of the outer leaves. Same thing, three-point curve. We'll go from there to there. Probably I could actually add another node there with the shape tool. I should have only probably gone to there. But you can still move your handles around. Get your three-point curve back. Go from there to there. Go from there to there. And then we're just gonna go down here and then make a little curve and then continue it till it snaps on that node. Same thing on this. Take and add a node. Just add some nodes. You don't have to do them, you know, until you get there. Add a node. As long as you have another node to, whoop, Let's back up here. I didn't have a node. And you could do just anything you really wanted. As long as you have another node there to hold the, I must not have a node down here. I'm gonna put a node down there. And like I said, I would take more time and, and uh, do a better job if I was doing it for real, but I'm just getting the the person, the idea how easy this is. 
I'm just connecting nodes and just making a zigzag. There's probably other ways to do this. And if I, y'all know me, if I find another way, I'll share it too. But as long as you have a node to anchor off of, the other node's gonna stay there. Almost done. We can bring this one up, add another node. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And because we've nudged, we can nudge this right over whoop, to our other item. Now, if I was doing it for real, I'd take more time, but we can nudge that over and that's right where the other one was. And I can see right off the bat, I don't like the top. Um, so you can manipulate it with the, with the um, shape tool, do whatever you want, because you're gonna, you're gonna start another flower pedal off of that one. And if I was doing it for real, I'd go through and, and change that and make it a little bit better, but I'm gonna control D and I'm gonna make a duplicate. I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna make it smaller. And then I'm gonna control D again and it made it even smaller. Then I'm gonna kind of bring it up and double click on it. If you double click on the X, you get your rotation and I'm gonna rotate it outward. Then I'm just gonna bring it in. And this is where it would help to have the picture. You, if you did this by your picture, but you're basically just making a pedal. Doesn't look like much right now, but just give me a second. Now let's take this out of the way. We can delete it because we got our smart fill one over here. Control D, hold down the control button and move them over. Nudge this one back. We can see we need to bring the pedal in. So what I would do is select these three, control G to group them and move the, well, let's move the rotation up top and move these in like this. Now let's move this over and make it black. And let's select all that and make them black. Take away the hairline, nudge that back. And there's kind of the pedal. They've got more of a sweep, and I, if you would have done more of a sweep on the first one, you'd be a lot better off because you really want to manipulate that first one before you make copies, and we can actually rotate this thing a little bit. But other than that, then make these flowers would be relatively easy shape. This could be a little tricky if you don't have any artistic ability, which I do not, but if you get the free the free hand tool and just kind of try to do it kind of fast. But here's kind of the key when you're doing something like that is to grab it, take the, make it black, make it thicker than a hairline, let's say four points take the smoothing tool and just lightly hit it. Then this is kind of the key to make this tip, turn this into an object, left click, right click, and you can see the outline of your line and grab your shape tool, delete some of these nodes and put more of a point on your flower, that didn't work. Let's add a node right there. Then we could bring this in. Maybe move that like that. Get the smoothing tool back and just real lightly, bam. Then take it and fill it in with black. Get around the outline. And that's pretty cool. Pretty easy, pretty simple, just a few steps. These would be really, really easy. I mean, that's just, well, I might as well do one real quick. 
two point three point curve. Go from there to there. Let's just go over there and then go here. Whoop. You've got to let go of your mouse for it to work. And we're going to put a little bit of a an indention right here, add a node. Make that back to that curve. That looks pretty good. A couple ways you could do it. You, you could actually contour that line inside, but this will be really kind of easy. Three-point curve. Three-point curve. And there you have it. Select it. Nudge it over. Smart fill it. Make it black. And be, it just, uh, it's that quick. Take away the outline. Now, if you ever see that and you can't take away the outlines because the outline is a smart feel, but then you just put them in here and arrange them. I would probably take the, make it look a little bit better, take the shape tool and make that a little bit look bigger. And then just, and if you're trying to mimic that perfectly, put it back, nudge it back to where it was, rotate them, and get them what you're doing. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.